Let's take a look at our starting 11s. First for North Texas SC and head coach John Gall. Michael Colodi gets the start in goal. Zanny, Humphrey, Korcha, Gordon, the captain on the back line. Mendonca, Norris, Garcia in the middle. Ramirez, Pepe, and Henry Scott up top for John Gall. For Dan DeGear and the town. FC, Richmond, Donnery, Edwards up top, Medina, the captain, Mendoza, and Lalo Blancas in the middle with Garcia, Bilter, Walls, and Verhoeven protecting Viganski, who gets the start between the pipes for Dan DeGear. Just one goal in the run of play so far in the two matches this season for North Texas. The Town FC in white, North Texas in the dark uniforms, and we are underway from Arlington. Turned over, and an early chance outside the 18. Pepe teeing it up, but he missed it well wide and high. Sent towards the far side on the wing. Settle down. Malik Henry Scott. Nifty feed for Garcia, who went down and a foul at the 10 yard line. Just outside the 18. Here's the delivery. Towards the back post and headed away by the town and then taken out of the air by Biganski. Well defended by the town and Chicago Fire FC. Followed by the U15 championship final between Valencia and Toulouse at noon Eastern. Then the U-17s take the field, 2.30 p.m. Eastern for the Premier Bracket Final. The town, and they break through first. I was busy telling you about Generation Adidas, but how about Aaron Edwards on the feed? The town takes the lead on the road in the 30th minute. What a feed across from Will Richmond, finding Edwards who got behind, and he had a wide open cage to slide that one in. For Edwards, his first point, first goal as well. Came in without a goal or an assist. It's good for Hoven. Dan DeGear's gotta be happy with this first half road performance by his team. With a one nil advantage. Goal by Aaron Edwards. Nick Mendonca turns it over. Mendoza takes it away. Mendoza tees it up from distance, took a deflection, but enough for Michael Colodi to still be able to handle it uh, with a valiant effort. And now here comes Barron for North Texas looking to tie the game. Great ball on that far side. Is it onside? It is. Pepe's try is turned aside by Biganski, but it is a corner for North Texas. Fantastic ball by Barron. Pepe was unmarked on that far side, stayed onside. Here's Medina. Far side now. It's Richmond who assisted on the first goal. Almost scored the second. And much like Pepe on the other side, Richmond forces Colodi to make a save. And the first teamer's attempt results in a corner for the Norris able to corral it for North Texas. And he lost it to Verhoeven. Nice spin. Goes down, and then takes the ball to the gut. That can't feel good. The North Texas bench is not happy at the moment. And now a yellow has been issued. We'll see who it's on for North Texas.
I, I do wonder. We, we had seven minutes of added time. I wonder if we're going to get up to an hour of first half play because of all the stoppages. It's to the discretion now of Ovin Oliva. So a red against Zani, a yellow against Korcha of North Texas, both in added time. And there is the final whistle for the first half. Only one goal to speak of. Aaron Edwards in the 30th minute made it 1-0. Underway in half number two. So here are our substitutions. Molina comes in for Pepe for North Texas. Hounded by Mendoza, and he plays it back to his keeper. And now space through the middle for North Texas to operate. Could they be building towards something here? Molina sends one on, and it's wide. The corner headed away nicely by North Texas. Schreiner who got a piece of it. And now the header! Save made over the bar, but they do call a foul. A lot of space now for North Texas, but cut off well by Sean Bilter. And then a foul and a yellow coming. Bilter will pick up the yellow. Here a chance to level for North Texas. The header is off target. Something developing here for the town. And then from behind, a great play. Nolan Norris, the tackle from behind, is apoplectic. He thought that last touch took a deflection off of the town. Instead, it's ruled a corner. What a recovery there by Norris, tracking from behind. Service in. Oh, and a, a save off the bar, I think, from Colodi. He got a deflection, and I think it still hit the crossbar. Cheeky attempt. A throw in for North Texas, awaiting the final whistle. Towards the box. Oh, they got it! Unbelievable! North Texas levels it at the death. A breakdown by the town. A desperation ball into the box. It took a deflection and went into the back of the net. Unreal. The town looked like they were just going to Coast to the final whistle. But it's not over yet. Can the town answer? Take it away and clear. And a race for it, 1v1. Awaiting the final whistle before we head to a shootout. Here comes the Town FC. Lalo Blancas goes down. No whistle. Takes deflection, stays alive. This is onside. Set down in front. And Lynch just couldn't get there. And there is the final whistle. That close to a heartbreaker for North Texas. Wow. What a finish. And for the third time in three matches, North Texas is heading to a shootout for the town. Certainly one that got away. Dan DeGear's team playing up a man. First round. Here we go. The hesitation, it works. Beganski off balance and North Texas Converts the first one. Smooth. 
And it'll be Lalo Blancas to take it first for the town. Blancas, oh my goodness. Levels it at one. So we are 1-1 one, one after one round. Now Nolan Norris, who's been a busy man throughout this match, steps to the spot. Can Bogansky have an answer? Guess right, but Norris beat him with the pace. 2-1. This is Bogansky's first action in a shootout in match week four. Will Richmond assisted on the goal and ties it in the shootout. Colodi guessed right again, much like Bogansky did, but the pace from the first teamer, Will Richmond, able to level it at two. In fact, I think he got a piece of it as well with his right arm. Isaiah Parker now. Each side two for two in the shootout. And again, Bogansky guessed right. He might have got a piece of it, but it beats him. And Isaiah Parker makes it three for three for North Texas. Cruz Medina, the Town FC captain. That's Michael Colodi. Bang! Tied at three, after three. Nine eight shootout last week. Medina was fired up after that. That at time. Can they get away with two? Diego Garcia, who scored the equalizer late, is stopped by Bigansky. You can do is look to the sky. Casey Walls. And he beats Colodi, who again guessed correctly but couldn't get it up in time to make the stop. A lot of pace on that attempt. Who entered as a sub. And now a yellow being shown to Bogansky. We had a ton of yellows today. Bogansky can win it with a save. Molina has to score to give his man, his goalkeeper, Colodi, a chance to keep it moving. Malachi Molina. Gets the go-ahead. And he keeps us going. But the Town FC can win it if they score here. Some words of encouragement from Molina to Colodi. To win it, Riley Lynch. The hesitation. And the stop! We keep going. And another stop, and another chance. Back-to-back -back saves from Mikolai Bigansky. This time on Turner Humphrey. And North Texas needs Colodi to come up huge again. Alexander Chow. Against Michael Colodi. Oh my! Colodi keeps us going. Four straight saves. The keepers owning the shootout. And now Lotaro Taboda. To give North Texas the lead again in the shootout. He goes top shelf, where I assume 
Mrs. Tabota keeps the cookies. Kaloti can win it with a stop. Jermaine Spivey, who at the end of added time sent a ball across that almost connected with Lynch to win the game. Now he needs to score here to keep the shootout going. Spivey stopped by Kaloti. Kaloti with three saves in a row in the shootout. And North Texas improves.